All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna go down to Auto Gator. We're gonna go down. We were gonna go down to Copart, check out a couple BMWs. But the one we were, the cars we were interested in were quite a bit like. The cars that we were interested in were all the way down to Martinez and we're in SAC, so I are mean, not even in close to SAC, we're like 30 minutes away from SAC. So it's gonna be like an hour and 30 minute drive. Uh, cousin's parents didn't want to take that route, so we're gonna either go to the Sacramento Coal Part or we're gonna go to Auto Gator, which is a, a salvage, they sell salvage cars, but it's not auction, you can just straight up buy them. So we're gonna check those out, we can actually drive those ones and uh, we'll see if you know we like any if there's something, I, I know there's a 5 series manual, um, the only problem is the odometer is not showing the mileage, but I checked the VIN number and it shows the last documented was like 3 months ago at 150k, so we'll say 155k. And then there's like the Z4, alright, I'm picking them up, let's go. Alright guys, yeah, so we just got to the place, I don't know if it's focused because of the, the lighting, but um, we're checking out a few cars. They just let us literally walk around the lot and look at all their cars. They only have like 50, 60, but you know, we could check them out and see which ones we want to pick up. I'll show you guys what we're looking at. No, no, the frame looks good. There's a gel with it. Yeah, it needs a little bit of work. Are you serious? No. That's a Lexus. This thing is worth the money. Whoa. That is crazy interior. Well, that's beautiful. How much is it? 4,800. Hey, y'all, 4,800. How many? Oh, 93,000 miles. Runs and drives. So just wow. 4.3 liters. That's what I'm saying. This thing, does it come? It, it does come yeah, out. Yeah, you can bolt it out. That's Mishkin Do you see a radiator? Radiator, eh? Yeah, radiator. How the radiator? No, no, so how the frame, you can tell it's bent this way. See here? Oh no, I'm looking right down here. Look at this. Why is it like that? It's supposed to be like this. Yeah, Bajoa. Yeah, the whole thing's bent. No, it's that not looks like a pretty easy fix. This is a 550, guys. Something for really cheap, but you can clearly see the axle is just messed up. This thing's to the ground. If you want to ever, you know, camber, come over here, boys. Yeah, this is that A4 that's stick shift and it dri runs and drives just fine. Yeah, take this. But I'm not going to show you guys the... <laughs> How's the accident? Who's going to fix this? How do you But it runs and drives, dude. Look at that. Even the axle's fine. You just have to... What the hell? Like, how do we drift build? You can you guys, we can drift build this. So we don't really need to have a beautiful exterior. <laughs> a little bit of Bondo can fix it. Dude, I always wanted one of these. How do you open this door? Ooh. Ford, no, Ford, they have the same exact chassis structure. Now I'm really familiar with Guys, this was going to be the first car I was going to buy. I just love the RX-8 so much, but everyone just kept on telling me this rotary engine's a piece of garbage. But look at that, 1700 bucks. What is the problem with this car? It says right here, right? System may be had head gasket. Look at those boys. I hope one of them are manual. 160k runs and drives. This has no problem. Runs and drives, Habibi. You have 1600? Runs and drives. One that's push. the one you're looking for? No, that's not. It's an automatic, that's why I don't want it. But it runs and drives. What's the problem with you? Because I'm trying to have a drift build. What do you mean? What's the problem with an automatic? What do you want to drift, Habibi? I'll go? No, Sacramento Raceway. Oh, okay. And they have drift tracks down there. Guys, like, I'm actually, this is like heaven for me right now. And it's way too hot though. Like, I'm sweating. Oh my god. Whoa. Ooh, those. Transmissions. BMW engine. BMW engine. That's yours, right? Uh, I don't know. I can't really tell. It looks like mine, but over oh, right here. Uh, Z4. Huh, Z4 motor. 76,000 miles. How much is it? They actually do sell transmission engines here. Well, they park cars that, you know. I fucked up. Yeah, they park cars that are not working, so. Wow. This is a trans. This is like so sick. This is a car guy's oh, world. Look at all these engine transmissions. 
Dude, this looks so sick, man. I wish. <laughs> I wish I had a garage like this. It's also oh, this is all the BMW engine. Guys, this is all BMW engine. If I need a swap, yeah, I mean it's that easy. Probably this is all BMW transmissions too. Wow. Guys, this is my other one. Let me know if you guys actually want me to get this one. It is a stick shift. What is the problem? Nah. Check engine light is on. Runs and drives. Unknown mileage. So it is a manual. Five thirty. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? It has rear end damage? Really? I didn't notice that. What is this? Is that frame? Oh, wow, it is frame. Well, maybe bumper. No, look. This connects. I saw this one of the bumper is bent. I don't know. I don't know much about coding and stuff. You guys, if any of you guys know how I can check a check engine light code, let me know. See what's the cost for it. It has uh, about 160,000 miles to my estimate, and it's stick shift for 1,600 bucks. Uh, it is a five series, so let me know if that's a cool drift car to pick up. <sighs> Trying to steer Euro only. We'll see. We'll see. All right, I think it's a new car. All right, guys, we're gonna check out this Mustang. It has 204,000 miles. Leaks transy fluid. Runs and drives. Shannon's an automatic. No, nope, absolutely forget it. All right, guys. So we just got back from the place. I just want to make sure the audio is good. We just got back from the Auto Gator. It's this place that sells salvage vehicles, but you don't have to, you know, bid on it. You can just buy it. They didn't have the car I wanted. They didn't have the 5 Series that was manual, but it had a check engine light. I'm wondering that's because of having the miles not displayed. It doesn't show how many miles is on the car. So if that's the reason why it has a check engine light, then that's, you know, easy fix. But you guys let me know. It's only 1600 bucks, probably get it down 1200 and it's a pretty decent drift car. Uh, I'm trying to stick with Euro, so I'm looking at E36s, convertible or um, non-convertible. I'll show you guys a picture right here of one that I found convertible, very low mileage, and then I found one that's a uh, hard top that's uh, quite high mileage. They both run and drive just fine for the same price, but there's one with 200K, which is the hard top, and the convertible, which is 82K, um, but it has damage. All I have to do is repair it. So you guys let me know in the comments which one you guys think I should go with. 